please, internet, just not suck. It's working. It's working. <laughs> All right, you're good. Yay. Diet Coke, Jackie? Yes, please. Alex, do you want your sausage? No, just take it in my fridge. Did you load it up on the pizza? I had two pieces of pizza. I only no, I had one piece of pizza, and then I had the, all the kids' crusts. I didn't want my dinner to Stop be... Stop doing that! That's wasted food if you don't eat the crust. It's not true! It's the crust! It's food! The crust is food. Oh, hey... Yes, we're live. I see you test test testing over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna give Drew a heads up when I saw the test, and I'm like, it'd be funnier if that didn't happen. You know what? I didn't even read. Um, yeah, I saw you were doing the, the new alerts. My bad. <laughs> um, what was it? Let me pull up. Let me pull up what you had said here. It, it is a Monday night, Drew. <laughs> we may be late, but that's the norm. <laughs> what have I lost track of time? How is how is stream <laughs> elements, by the way? <laughs> and what have we been using Streamlabs for? Just for the alerts, right? I don't know. If I could trust the kids to not like so far? climb them all the time, I'd have them both at the breakfast bar where they're oh, supposed to be. Where they're supposed to be, right. Also, I, I was working my butt off, so I wasn't able to respond, but when you said the whole, you know, the bridge has no support, it's partially submerged in water, so like how I can feel like you're about to drown when you don't have a good support network. It definitely isn't because you ran out of time making the bridge. And I was really like, yeah, actually, the entire game is like that, you know. You're sending things from the real world down into your depressive state to try to pull you out of it. You're taking the good, positive things that help you get over the hurdles. You got a whole game there. People love that indie shit where it's about, like, you know, killing yourself. Just People love that indie shit. It's amazing how much you can applaud and shit on something in the same sentence, Alex. Again, I liked... <laughs> I, I like it's, those games, but also at the same time. It's a family treat. It's like a <laughs> They all do it. Yes. They all do it. And we're very good at that. Drew, Drew knows what's up. Drew, have you seen the, the Gekko yet? <clears throat> oh, yeah, Gekko Malachek and his horrible face. I'm with you, Drew. Yeah, me too, man. They're nonstop. It started with, I think Braid was probably the first one that was like really popular, even though that one's about, like, nuclear war, but... Binding of Isaac. Well, the Binding of Isaac is not, like, a... Alex was obsessed with that. I'm aware. Like, the longest time. It's very good. Um, I, I was not I was not shitting on it. I'm just saying. But that's, that's not, like, the, uh... The first time I ever saw it, I was shitting on it, because I was like, holy crap, this is dark. Right, but that game's yeah, not like... alluding to anything. It's not trying to be clever. It's just like, you know, we're just going to take dark, twisted shit and throw it in here as the game, right? No artsy-fartsy bullshit. No artsy-fartsy bullshit. It is what it is. Yeah, that's fine. Your next game is going to have bright colors, a dope soundtrack, and a cute robot mascot named Choop Choop. Choop Choop! <laughs> Where is he? Where's Choop Choop? Are those emotes gone? <laughs> Close enough. Yeah, brain slugs closed, but it ain't... Where are my moats? They're my moats. Maybe you, you have. You choop. don't have choop choop. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have the choop. You don't. You ain't got the choop. I'll give you a brain plug. He's close. That's hype ghost. <laughs> hype ghost v brain slug. <laughs> brain slug wins every time. Brain slug does win every time. No, I mean hype ghost is it's choop choop. He's. How you got a brain slug a ghost? Really? It's been two weeks. Remember where you are? I'm in the ship. <laughs> yeah, so you finally get to I'm actually in the explore. Ship as it comes up, I'm in oh, the ship. Oh, that's right. The, literally, the last thing Alex did was, I'm going to try to leave the Ebon Hall. 
in space. Yes. <laughs> that I recall. <laughs> I, I like your attempt at doing the arm that you just gave him. <laughs> Two right arms. <laughs> <laughs> the first time? Yeah, yeah. It all worked out. Uh, the remote. Badger's remote. Oh, there it is. Why are you making that noise? I'm sorry he's not just spewing Dilfa at you, Alex. He, he, he should be. Ew. Spewing Dilfa. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Still a better word than inseminate. <laughs> Uh, what, what was that discussion we were having about inseminating? Yeah, that was at a, when we were playing D and D because one of the gross, nasty mans. Oh was, right, that's yeah, right. The the Neogi. Yeah, the Neogi was uh, inseminating somebody. And I, every, ugh, I actually had to read that word in a book the other day, and I was just like, <laughs> PTSD. I would rather no. I just I hate I that word. Oh, way. it's it's I like I don't even mind the word moist. The I I don't I don't like the word inseminate. And there's something about it because it's the clinical term, Many of them were it should be like not a problem, but I would rather hear jizz than hear the word insemin. All right, how about this? Dongle versus inseminate. I hated that. Oh, I wanted you <laughs> to give no I'd rather hear dongle. dongle. I'd rather hear dongle. What did you just say? Said there's no price line dongler. Victories were rare, but we price line inseminator. <laughs> 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 Alex was going. Oh, I, hate I it. saw that one. I hate it so much. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. That was, that was tag team. Yeah. <laughs> when you guys decide to work together, <laughs> you really knock anything. it out of the park. Truly anything is possible. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I said, but sure. <laughs> By all powers combined. Something else I can We yield Just working Dick joke <laughs> <laughs> Yes. That old thing? I built him when I was a kid. Been following me around for years now. <laughs> this is the this is the good stuff you miss out on on Mondays. True. <laughs> hey, just kidding. I'm happy to have you. Oh around. true. <laughs> if only Jackie, it's your favorite character in Kotor 2. He helps me out with repairs. Send your ASMR. Yeah, this man is Valium incarnate. <laughs> what did I say his face almost, looks like? Though? Because his voice, his almost. voice is Valium incarnate. But what is his? What did I say? That? Oh, his face is Shrek. It's yeah, Shrek. <laughs> it's just so wide. Something else I can help you with. Look at him. Yeah. No, he looks like Darth Maul. Fuck Brian Dennehy. <laughs> That's a quote. Let go. <laughs> oh, my bad. Here, Sorry, what did you say? What was what was your? I said he looks like Darth Maul. Fuck Brian Dennehy. <laughs> <laughs> and he sounds like uh, sounds like Ben Stein had five Valium. Yeah, he's he's the most Ben Stein of the yeah. of the members of our crew. <laughs> Well, Drew, now you get to watch this chaos. Oh, don't don't act like you don't enjoy this, Drew. <laughs> I wasn't being Darth sarcastic. Maul fun to Brian and Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dilva. So he can't pick the aggregation cushion yet. Pick him yet. So do we want to go to Dantooine, Narshada? I mean, I can tell you the order I like to do it in. Uh, sure. You should go back to Telos first. Now here's the real question. Will Alex listen to you, or will he fuck off and do whatever the hell he wants? He can do whatever he wants. I, I mean, he's going to. <laughs> what I mean is, is what he wants also what you suggest. <laughs> so we'll give you kind of the rundown right now. Um, do you want us to spoil the first KOTOR for you? Have you played the first one? 
he hasn't played a KOTOR. Oh, he didn't oh, say that. He, he just ended up like KOTOR Oh, two. I'm surprised by that. No, he said KOTOR two. Oh, okay, I was going to say, because I know that's like right up your alley, Drew. Oh, welcome to one. So this takes place after one, uh, a couple years. Um, yes. Basically, the Republic's in ruins, regardless of your choice. Uh, if you were light-sided Revan, uh, you went off in search of the Sith Empire, and if you were dark-sided Revan, um, you just disappeared, despite being in the position to crush the Republic. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, basically the Jedi are dead, uh, Republic's in shambles and barely holding on for life. And then, uh, all of a sudden, After you, a Jedi, in the Mandalorian Wars, uh, reappear. To join my mother. And you kind of get thrown into a situation where saw her face. you get, father you're just on the Ebon Hawk with and did not T3M4, and, four, and it's adrift in space. And that's how the game starts. I have to say, I really like that opening. Oh, the opening is so really good. I really liked it. I thought that was really, really well done. It goes on a little long. It, it does, but it, that didn't even bother me. Like, it, the way that they did the it was, it was so I am the mark of that disloyalty. enjoyable that it, that it didn't really get me how long it was. Yet I am pledged to them. And it certainly and wasn't, I would uh, die before betraying you know, um, I tell you this in trust. Uh, fucking rock with this fucking it to others. bullshit. We're light side male. Yeah, light side male, Revan. Now we're light side male, this guy. Because when my father returned from the Mandalorian Wars, he walked as you do. I was as surprised as you are that Alex went light side male. Him. He did not I, speak I, of what honestly, happened there. Honestly, the dark side the choices are so freaking funny change. in this game. You don't need to, to be honest, you don't need to, like, choose them to see how funny they are. Yeah, you can just read them. And that is why I tell you this now. There's only one where I'll say, I'll say, save the game. It's gonna be at Nar Shaddaa at one point. I'm just gonna say, save the game and do the dark side thing. Because it's so hysterical. You have earned my trust. I wish to honor the trust you have shown me. And I wish to explain what you meant to me. I know it is difficult for others to see why I am here, mm -hmm. but it was important that you know one of the. Alex is gaining her trust. And know that it is yeah. not so. Yeah, she's been telling us about her father and her mother, and that there's yeah, 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 no other side by side for yeah, as long as there are enemies that threaten you. You are a leader. Your stance, your every, every action proves it. Your stance, you stand. She's a fighter. So nicely. You stand uh, well. I mean, the top one's the light side, clearly, but... Yeah, I mean, that one's good, too, but... You honor me, Exile. Yeah, that's the plan. Together, then. Drew, that's the plan, you know it. You may ask. There is no romance scene in this game. Which I have to say, I appreciate when games... If you're gonna have romance Before in it, it needs to service. have a yes, purpose. I carry the name. As like, all the children... I don't like it when it's just, it's like it what they did with the important. fucking with the Hobbit, my where they just threw in not my that fucking I elf dwarf romance for not literally no reason. Wouldn't it have been great if the Beatles actually bought the rights to the Hobbit? <laughs> no. no! That would have been an atrocity. You didn't know about that? No. John Lennon was going to be Gollum, Paul McCartney was going to be Frodo, Ringo was going to be Gandalf. <laughs> yeah. This was all a thing that they were going to do. They were very close to getting those right. <laughs> We all have value in our oaths to others and the promises we make. This is when great a lot. That pledge, you know, we are pledging to ourselves to something greater. Me too. Great a lot. She, she's done a million times. It also million. sounds like she's uh, taking a bunch of value. Not quite as bad as the other one. I do not know. That is a question you must ask yourself. <laughs> that one... <laughs> It was very hard for Alex to not choose the diff thing. Oh, I guess I just have to say, okay, never mind. I arrive on the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both those things yeah. are dick moves. She said you betrayed the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. I mean, they would have had to have had a huge gilly budget. Right? I'm sorry? For their Hobbit adaptation? Gilly weed. <laughs> gilly weed budget? <laughs> Bless you. You know gilly weed's from fucking yeah, Harry Potter, Yeah, right? I know. I'm We're mixing up my universe. No shit. Yeah, we're just making funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Jackie, yeah. Jackie and I are on I board. Like, I, I yeah. like seeing the Beatles all swimming underwater, <laughs> being able to breathe, fighting Merfolk. 
I'd like to see that. Uh, to I be fair, not. that isn't too far off from Yellow Submarine. I was going to say, <laughs> I'm pretty point. sure he made that one. We've <laughs> seen this movie. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that one was made. You just made. put Ringo in a big hat and boom, it's, it's The Hobbit meets Harry Potter. Hey, it's a big hat, it's funny. It's a big hat, it's funny. <laughs> Atris says that you fell to the dark side of the I mean, help is unwatchable. And you gave in to your lust for battle. A lot of the Beatles Once movies are pretty unwatchable. I, I actually have never seen Help. I like a Hard Day's Night. Hard Day's Night is really good because yeah. it's... it. I was like, wait a second, let me... This is the only one that's good. <laughs> I, I don't know which thing you're talking about, Drew, because there was a lot there. <laughs> we were just like... We're moving, we fly. <laughs> Bing, bang, boom. <laughs> Ringo is Gandalf. <laughs> like in the Harry Potter Gillyweed. <laughs> Yellow Submarine. Atris says when the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic, you did not march. I mean, Atris is going to be a bad guy, right? So far, you could There's no way Atris isn't going to. Right, Jackie? Yeah. Atris, her, like, mom. Yeah, I mean, we already knew that. She not was, mom, but. She was a huge bitch. Of course she's going to be a bad guy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Look, they don't make bitchy characters have them be like, this is your new best friend. And if they do, the it's the bitchy character with a heart of gold, and that woman clearly did not have a heart of gold. Times, but all rise she may have at one point, point, but no longer. I don't think she ever had a heart of gold. I think she had a heart of yes, gallium that melted hardcore at room temperature. <laughs> gallium. <laughs> the most evil of the hard battles. <laughs> <laughs> No, you know what? Okay, you're gonna pick on me for this because this is way out of left field. But you know uh -oh. my favorite, my favorite metal. Having seen Hold on. Hold on. I cannot say. Battle is I know what it is. Form of Palladium. No. War. No. <laughs> That's not a metal. No, it's not a metal. It's a gas mask. No, it's not a gas. Well, you know what I mean. It's, it's fuck. It's in the fucking noble gases. It's a liquid. Wait, what? Isn't it? No, it's not. No. no but the only two not. liquids are bromine and mercury yeah. at room temperature. Christ. We're on is five, right? One, two, three. Yeah, it's five. Three, it's the fifth element. Four, That's five. The it's, I'll never forget that. It's, it's, they it might they be create the fifth element. Boron. <laughs> no, it's osmium. Perhaps it's it the densest metal of the known universe. I thought that was lead. No, it's yeah, uh, it lead is Mercy, lead is heavy. Anger, osmium fear. is dense. These are pure moments of expression. You married me. Clearly, you like the densest things in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Should have guessed, Osmond. Awesome. It's not. It, uh, wait, you meant to say not boron. You meant to say moron. Moron. <laughs> the fifth element. <laughs> Love of moron. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> Monday night. It is not possible to dock at the academy without the proper codes. Yes, but I could not give them to you. Hmm. You can't. Why not? I mean, you gained some influence. And I shimmered. You Why should honestly you probably. Give me in the, the you should probably save after you get influence. Cause it's such a. I can. It's such a pain. Is it? Yeah. Give me the codes. Codes? Give me the codes. Give me the codes. Give me the air. <laughs> cool, Hagen. <laughs> See you at the party, Victor! <laughs> Craig is the most frustrating That's still one here. of the stupidest lines to me. Oh, ever I love See that. See you movie. at the party, Richter. Oh. Uh, <laughs> then prepare for an army, I think. Or it seems many more will come. As he throws the hands down. Yeah. Oh. You are a leader. Oh, oh God. I love such, that. Even when the figure deserves no such obedience. I don't think the best thing, Alex and I were talking about it over the weekend, but the best thing is when we were watching it with Joe, who'd never Do seen it before. One yeah. word within another. And Joe was, Joe was liking the movie, Do but he really got into it follow. in the scene where friends not Arnold Schwarzenegger takes a random own, guy no matter how small and holds so. him in front of him as a bullet shield, oh, and yeah. the squibs are just, he gets ripped yeah. apart. Joe's like, this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> because I am not blind, that is why. I see what they see. Hear their voices when they speak to you, and notice the change when they speak to others. What? I know many things, and I know what I am and not. I, know I am no nothing. leader. And I know many I know things, but I also know nothing. Pigeons, I know things about pigeons, Lily. I know about 
of the birds and the bees. You know that line, right? Have you ever seen the Hill of Fire? Yeah, but it's been so long since I've seen the Hill of Fire. I know every line of that fucking movie. But I have, one of my favorites that my dad and I will always repeat back to each other is there's parts where he's like, he's telling her, like, oh yeah, this is what he's going to do. This, this, you know, he wants to kill the president, he's going to do this, he's going to do that. She's like, how do you know? He goes, I know things about people, really. And that's like his whole thing. He's very condescending the whole time. Yeah. But then at the very end, he's like, see that pigeon down there? That pigeon's going to fly off, and the one next one's going to go right after it. And she's like, you can't possibly know that. And then they do it, and she's like, how did you know that? I know things about the pigeons, really. <laughs> I don't remember that scene. Because it, it was the dumbest scene ever. But my dad and I always thought it was so hilarious. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, when Ed 209 just obliterates that guy yeah. in the accident. And then he hits the table and you think he's dead, and then Ed's just he like just... <laughs> <laughs> Or even when uh he shoots uh Ronnie Cox out the window. Oh yeah. <laughs> and the one guy is just like so like murder horny yes. about it. <laughs> he's like, yes, he gives the fist. Oh <laughs> That movie's a fucking treasure. Oh god. <laughs> it really is. The dick shot. Awesome. Yes, the dick shot seems good. You've seen the dick shot edit, right? Oh, I've seen it. <laughs> uh, on Robo with your eyes. There is they did a uh, Robocop. Um, I see uh, all uh, Red Brother did a Robocop um, commentary track. Oh, yeah. And, and during it, ago, Jay, they they're talking about that, you know, the, the edit. Mm -hmm. And Jay says, this is the biggest regret There's of my life, wrong. and I will go to my grave regretting it. That I did not videotape they Rich Evans watch that the first time we showed it to him. <laughs> because it's the hardest <laughs> I've ever seen him laugh. <laughs> well, I, I believe it. Have you seen that scene, Jackie? No. no they do the, uh, you know the scene from Robocop where the guy is holding the girl and he like shoots between her legs and shoots his dick off. Oh, yeah! Well, they did a whole edit where a bunch of other thugs come out and then Robocop just blows <laughs> up. Like, it's just like close up shots of their dicks exploding. <laughs> it, yeah, it's so graphic. Like, <laughs> it is one of the funniest things ever, <laughs> because it it is the most gratuitous thing you'll ever see. Does it matter? Of course it does. Such titles allow you to break the galaxy into light and dark, categorize it. Perhaps I am neither, and I hold both as what they are, pieces of a whole. Know that I am your teacher. God, I was... I was I was really hoping that they would go for this, like, middle-of-the-road Grey Jedi thing for the new movies. I know. We were oh, both, I know. Alex and I were both talking about it. it. That was, like, when we first saw, when we saw the first, uh, when we saw, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, what was it? <coughs> the Force Awakens? Oh, was that the yeah. one? Yeah. Kill me? We were like, oh, this is cool. Like, they're, it seems like they're setting it up where it's going to be, like, a Grey uh, Jedi. Like, it's going to be, like, something in the middle. Like, you got to have that balance. Like, you know, haven't. nobody can be one or the other. And then they bunked it. Yeah, especially with eight Do you and think then to nine with falling down on I was so pissed with that whole movie. She may have her uses. Last Jedi? Yeah. Yeah. Is Last not, Jedi, and then, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, I, there were the parts of, like, I wanted, I really enemy. wanted to, like, see them instead as an ally, uh, whether they brought, uh, was it Rise of Skywalker, whatever the fuck it was. This situation may yet be a ninth one. That was a ninth one, yes. I fucking hated it. But that was. We watched. We wanted to like it so badly. But then, like, by the end of it, I think I remember, like, looking at Alex and going, what the fuck? Yeah. What just happened? I gotta say though, we did see um, uh, a New Hope two uh, in theaters. Yeah, Force Awakens, right? Yeah. That's what I was just saying. Yeah. Um, but we watched it. We were in the front row. We right? were in the third row. We were like right up. No, like we were right no, up. No, we were in the third row because I remember we could lean our, our seat back. We were literally like this the whole time, and I remember being like, "I'll never be this close again." No, uh, it's like it's it like in Seinfeld. The it was the I just was it the remember. first. Okay. It was the very first row because we got fucked on the tickets and we had to like last minute buy some, and all that was right. left was dead center front row, oh, and we had right. the seats all the way flat, and we were just like playing down yeah, watching was, the movie. It was like uh, Jerry and Elaine in the, in the movie theater. Oh, yeah, I hated it so much. <laughs> I was very unhappy, but I mean, there was nothing we could do about it. I saw all three opening night, and the only reason I saw them opening night is because I didn't want to fucking deal with spoilers. Yeah, that's that's part of the reason why, like, if there's a movie that I know for a fact if I don't go see it opening night, or if I don't go see it opening weekend at least, I know I'm fucked. What was the last thing you saw opening weekend? I don't remember. gained influence at least. Yeah, I was going for more of like a middle of the road thing with her, but she was very... That's generally how you need to treat it. 
Sorry, what was Dune. Question? It was Dune. Yes. Yeah, you guys saw Dune without me. Right, because I was like, because, but I remember the thing, like, if we didn't go see it opening weekend, everything would have been ruined. To be us. fair, that one was streaming, though. You could have just watched the streaming. Yes, we could have just watched the streaming. But my kids would have been there. Well, that's always a problem. That's what I mean. And I promised Jackie we'd see Dune. No, no, I... <laughs> I, of course, no. I'm, I'm just saying you, that one you could have gotten away with it. Yes. But I still have not seen the new Spider-Man. Neither have we. And I will not see it until it's streaming. Yeah, that's probably true. I mean, there's just I, honestly, even COVID aside, I'm not. It takes a lot for me to want to go to a movie theater these days. So I used to love going to the movie all the time. Me too. Until the cell phones have just become so fucking rampant. Where I, I am just like, I'll be like watching the movie and then some asshole just takes out their phone. And of course, it is blindingly white. No matter where you the, sit, you can always see it. And then there's a couple assholes that are just talking or something. I gotta say, I don't think I've ever really had that. Um, don't one say time, that. I was gonna say. One time I had that experience in a movie theater. But never in a movie theater if I had like people with their obnoxious phones or people talking over it. Except for when we went to go see Watchmen with Andrew Sibolsky. You remember that? Philly. And it was in the middle of Philly, and it was just so funny. The scene where the, like, the owl guy has, like, you, you like, see his butt. Yeah. And, of course, they, they've already done, like, the fucking, you know, um, Dr. Manhattan dick, right? Oh, and a bunch of the guys that the they were like, ah, uh, uh. Yeah, God forbid, God forbid anybody in right. Philly can, you know, see another dude's dick. And then the, the ass on the hawk guy, or whatever his name is. Owl um, man. The owl. Uh, That's it. The, uh, <laughs> this guy's yeah, like, man, man, technically. He was like, man, we had come here for this gay shit. And this woman from across the here goes, yo, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. And everybody's laughing. And, uh, but I, that enhances the experience for me. Yeah, when I was younger, <laughs> I could tolerate it. I was like it a talking lot more. to homeless people, which is something that most people don't like to do. I do want to other people. That's fine. I'm not talking about that. I mean, you like talking to the ones that are like actually insane. I like the crazy ones. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I liked talking to Golden Gloves Willie just as much as the next person. Yeah, but he was also crazy. You know, I noticed a glow before, but now, now it's bright around you. You've come a long way since Paragus. Is he just talking about how through, right side he is? You seem a lot better for it. It's scripted so that when you get to, like, a certain percentage. Oh, man. Your your bachelor party was great. That theater room is, like, a goal for me. Absolutely. Oh, my God. It Alex showed so me the fun. pictures. I was, like... If we, if we ever Fucking fell imagine. into, like, a, a bunch of money, just, you know, whatever, I wanted to have certain rooms in the house. I want a room where I can have me and the kids do all kinds of art shit. I don't have to worry about it being a mess. Powerful house, yeah. Yeah, um, but I don't have to do any like you know art shit. I don't have to worry about the mess. I want a game. I want a, a game room. I want, I want one for video games specifically, shows. and then I want a connecting room that's just for like tabletop gaming. All right, then the, the indoor swimming pool. I don't know about the indoor swimming pool. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to go outside. Oh, that's not. No, we, no, we you I have want, it. Where want, it's all you can go fusion. in and out, yeah. like but the I fusion. Also want, but I also want there to be a decent the, porch so that I can sit out sure. there when the fuck I want to. And I want it to be in weather that I don't have to sit there and be like, it's so fucking cool. All right, next, bowling alley. Step well, just for yeah, just two lanes, double that. lanes, double I'll lanes. I'll take that. Yes, two lanes. Two because lanes, honestly, you don't need more. I, I actually. I love bowling. I'll take that. <laughs> it's it's. Let's play some bizarre. Or I have some questions for you. And the questions are: Can you teach me? <laughs> and let's play bizarre. <laughs> I just want to talk to you. Adrian. Play bizarre. Go ahead. You're, you're, Something. You need an uh, an event needs to happen for you to uh, get okay. any further with Atten's storyline. Right. And I um, won't say anything else. I gotta say no. Have like, number two, for me, like I want the home theater. <laughs> Man, I heard you like bizarre. Number one is the home theater, right? Okay, that's number one. Number two, someone to clean up my house. Well, now, wait a minute. We don't need a fucking Powerball house for that. It's just not going to happen in this house. Yeah, but it's not going to happen in this house. But if I have the Powerball house, I definitely don't want to be, like, skimming my indoor house. If we're going to have a room, let me say, okay, here's, here's the thing you're forgetting. You're not wrong. Right? No, no, I'm not you're, getting you're, underneath here's the, thing. the... You're, you're correct, but I'm just going to put this this way. So in this... In this magical house that we have where we have a room that's just for getting dirty a room that's just for movies a room that's just for video games a room that's just for tabletop gaming a room that's just for bowling and not including all the bedrooms and shit 
You expect me to fucking clean all that? No, I Absolutely. That's, that's why you're saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're, I'm like, saying. There, like, there's no way that we're going to get all that shit, and you're going to look at me and be like, okay, so you're like, uh, your housewife, right? And I'm going to be like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> the only way that would happen is if I was making half a million dollars a year, and you were not working at all. And even then, I would be like, you know what? I can pay for a maid. I was going to say, and even then, I would look at you and be like, uh... I'm sure there's other things I'm gonna do with my fucking time that right. are valuable to this exactly. family rather than clean exactly. 17 rooms in this house. Right. Five of which we probably won't even use. And that's a big number considering there's gonna be 12, we got the two kids. Joe and Matt are gonna need their own rooms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, in this scenario, you guys live with us. Oh, that's <laughs> fine. Okay, I'm down. I can put money in. Even, even if they don't live with us, they're gonna need their own rooms for ga- for gaming nights so that oh, they yeah. don't when have to run got, home immediately. Guys, <laughs> oh, that's shit. You're right. If you're like, I, I, you know what, I'll get home. Matt, we gotta watch like ten. It's always Sunnies. Like, just right. stay till like four a.m. and like uh, pass out. I okay. Think the favorite part of that too is in, in this in this scenario because this is my, I'm used to my sister's kids doing this at my mom's house. That like you guys each have a dresser and you've got like your own sets of clothes in that fucking dresser, so you don't even have to worry about like packing an overnight bag. It's all just fucking there. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to know my strategy, and I'm not gonna say why, because I I I, I finish I finish up a little bit of Tilos. Then I go to Korriban. Then I do Dantooine. Then I do Nar Shaddaa, And I leave on the run for last. So I was gonna do Korriban after this. So I guess that worked out. Then we can see how it goes from there. I mean, I know the reason why I do it in this order, but I'm not going to say that reason. Of course. Uh, in fact, I used to never go back to t less here, but I only change it when going to the mod. Oh, really? After the. With the uh, You'll see why pretty quickly. Expanded mod? There's only one difference. You'll see why pretty quickly. Is it extra Dilfa? No. It's an, is it an inordinate amount of Dilfa? <laughs> an inordinate amount of Dilfa. Did you see what the stream title is? I did not. Is it an inordinate amount of Dilfa? No, but it is Dilfa related. Oh. <laughs> it's Dilfa related. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the Dilfa spectrum, Alex. <laughs> it's Dilfish. I think I named Dilfish. it, uh, I Dilfa. You Dilfa, he, yeah. she, he Dilfas. she Dilfas. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I thank you. Bring... I don't want to bring. I mean, Kray is just very good. You, uh, yeah, and you haven't taken the handmaiden out yet. No, I haven't. I kind of want to bring her, but I mean, like, Atten's skills are just very handy. And I mean, there's still five holes in that little puzzle you got there. There's five more party members. Oh, look at you. Look at look at the glow. Oh, glorious. The glow. The glorious. God damn. Glorious. The glory of Gekko. <laughs> I'm going to do level one The now. glory of Gekko. <laughs> uh, Peace be to you and also unto Gekko. <laughs> you can charisma. All right. They got rid of the and also with you? They did. Oh my god! <laughs> you, now we have to look like assholes and shit. You guys haven't been here in a yeah. while. <laughs> <laughs> I've never felt more like an asshole. Contention. I like this one. Can I see the forms here now? I don't think so. I think you're going to see. And with your gaggle. I mean, destroy <laughs> droid's great. Can't get the last stasis yet, but stasis field is amazing. Um, do you get this plus three to all the fucking rolls even when you have the four, the lightsaber? Yes. I might go with that then. It's really good. Um, what else we got? Obviously, the secondary level of heal is up there now. Light speed's nice. Improved heal's good. Uh, advanced advanced throw lightsaber is really good. You don't have a lightsaber yet. Yes. You could hold off on that because it's not as important. I'm going to take four three direction. There you go. So I've got. I've got covered persuasion and kinda treat injury. Kinda? I can't look at their skills right now. No. That's me. Alright, so I'm trying to remember if I need to really bring T3. I think I'm just gonna bring Atten and the or Kray and the handmaid for now. Wait a second. Have you gone through all the handmaiden dialogue, by the way? You haven't left the ship yet. I, 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 I I'm gonna. I'm if you. <laughs> Forge. Uh, I 
She's in the cargo hold where the, uh, the little girl was in the first game. Yes. You know the uh, Uga Shaka Paga girl. <laughs> I understand how you and Atris fight, but I will instruct you on how Her face looks like a Oompa Loompa if they were not. Just look, yeah. at, just look at the eyes. Look at the eyes with All the eyebrows. I swear to God, I'm not making this foundation. up. The rest of it's not. Let's say what you're talking about. But here, for sure, look at that. Of a language before being able to use words. Yeah, but all of the models in the game are are perfectly symmetric, ex unless they're custom, like As a foundation, Zion. I will instruct you in our elementary yeah, movements. I, don't, I, I really don't like it when people do that. The first it's weapon. It's it, it, Jackie. It looks uncomfortable. It doesn't. It makes me. It's not real. Jackie, you know why they did it though. No. In a time where memory was very key, oh, oh, you're oh, cutting oh. down on half. I gotcha. That's huge. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Duels among you so it, it's, it's it's sometimes it's it's the constraints that you're working under. But I understand where you're coming from, but like no, they honestly that. That can't. Sense. No, that makes sense. Especially when this game is designed to run on the Xbox, like you're scra right. you know you're scrapping up for memory on that thing. Yeah. On a fucking Pentium 3 in the year Very 2004. Well. I shall match my like, oh, Jesus Christ, when did that happen? And Jackie. do not hold back, or I will hurt What the frig? She popped out of her clothes so that she can have a fist fight she with me. She popped out of her clothes, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you that, that. Happen? that was how you chose to word that. She <laughs> popped you, out of her you clothes. You did not see when she was just standing there went, and just like popped. <laughs> so when I catch you in bed with other very, women, and she had a very <laughs> prominent brow. I just want to put this out there. So when I catch you in bed with other women, what's the excuse? Me, sorry, Jack, she, she just popped, popped, right right out. Out. <laughs> she popped right out. She popped right out. Yeah, punch the shit out of her. I was just like, I'm just like, mm, you should probably do this fight before you level her up because it's a lot fucking easier. <laughs> <laughs> like you're gonna blow through this fight if you don't. Why level that up. though? I'm anticipating my movements. Why mm -hmm. the near naked? There's something. Why not put her in like workout she's clothes? She's more of the primal. So what? Even they didn't wear fucking bikinis. It's her underwear. It's not a bikini. I see. It was always something I was curious. Also, about. if that's the case, why she wore a choker? That makes no sense. Well, you know why that's there. Because we go back to, if you don't cover the the joint up, it's gonna look like oh. shit, Jackie. Yeah, exactly. It's there because <laughs> they didn't want to have to animate the fucking collarbone. <laughs> I'm that asshole that like while they're trying so hard to save like memory at times, like that looks shitty. But if we don't do it this way, it's gonna look so bad. Can you imagine what it looked like if that wasn't there, Jackie? I do it would be horrific. What, would it look like her head was detached? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, you'd okay. see the seam. That's hilarious. That's why I'm like, no. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. You definitely want the choker there, Jackie. It's there to hide the seam. In ways, it is much like the game of Dejaric, played in the core systems. The most advanced among the Ichani are able to predict the course of battles by month. Put some fucking sweatpants on. It's not that fucking hard. are said to be able to predict the path of wars. Only Revan ever demonstrated such skill in war. And even as he slaughtered us, the Ichani still respected him. You are already doing it. If you do not know you are doing it, then training will make you a dangerous opponent indeed. Come, as we fight more, I will teach you. Do not think about You have to be certain levels movements. to do There's React three levels of fighting. You are doing better. At first, I was afraid that your awareness of your own ability might ruin it. But that is not the case. You learn quickly. I was petrified. Yeah. It is your connection no, to Alex got petrified <laughs> on Saturday. But I, do not <laughs> <laughs> I need to make the one where it's just you getting Always petrified. Just the petrified. Yes. I need. I have to do that clip next. Yeah, I got battle precognition. Add my wisdom bonus to my defense in combat. Wow, that's a really good ability. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm that's like. Very handy. Yes. Number three. I do not think. Yeah, I already did the Yeah, no, no, no. I went to do the clothes ones. Oh. Well, I already went through this. Yeah, just say, never mind, I'll be going. Because you're not going to be able to get back. You just, you just you potentially screw yourself up with the thing. That's why it's like, it's not worth going through these things again, Alex. That's why it's just worth going, leaving the conversation or restarting it. But now you're not going to get the other thing. Or is it, yeah. yeah. It does not seem to bother <laughs> you. <laughs> no, don't say the don't say the first one. 
Oh god. You're good. That's all. I, I just. I don't think you can do the second fight until you're higher level. I don't remember what level it is. I can look that up if you're really curious. Oh, okay. You had the Jedi Knight robe on because I think you were getting sick of not being able to do the Force powers. And honestly, like, with all your shit, you're gonna be fine. You'll be Mr. Tank even without the armor. Yeah, well, I'm still going to do the battle suit for now. And we'll bring Kreia. And we'll bring... Oh, she's like super light mode, huh? You know why? Because I'm super light mode. And? Because her hair is white? No. You're really high up close. With her? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the combination of the two. What about Shrek? Let's see. I mean, he's light, but not that light. Um. Yeah, I'll bring the handmaid now. Does she I mean, have a she, name? I mean, she, yeah. Yeah, no. I'll bring she her. won't tell you what it is, though. I'll bring her and I'll bring it. A girl has no name. You can find out the name in this game. I'll give you that. Okay. Okay, now you're part of my party and you're out here fighting. He needs you to put some fucking clothes on. He needs some fucking clothes. I don't know what to call you, but you're putting some fucking clothes on. Man, my she's, wife is she's, sitting right next to I you. I do not want to bring her. <laughs> From skills perspective alone. Skills? No. Fighting? Absolutely. Yeah. Skills wise, though, she's balls. Yeah, seven computer use. Like, I, I would like to have more computer use. He's good on demolitions. He has no repair. Yeah, I need somebody who can do repair and computer use. That sucks. Whatever. I'm not gonna do that right now. Why is she naked again, Alex? Because I didn't put clothes on her yet, Dougie. <laughs> One skill point. Oi, oi, oi. Maybe she um, put clothes on her first. I guess I'll just put it into her awareness. No, don't worry about it. I guess just have her walk around naked. That's fine, too. She's cool with it. Clearly. I mean, if I had a body like that, I would be fucking cool with it, too. <laughs> Must be fucking nice. Must be fucking <laughs> nice. So it's 10, 14, and 18 where you can fight her. Okay. Uh, regenerate vitality points seems good. Close combat. No. These close combat games are pretty good. I played a bunch of them back in the day. Yeah, they're fine. Maybe just. What's this dude? Clothes on her first. <laughs> <laughs> her her thing does have a bonus to it. Uh, hold on. No, Al, please don't think, dress no, her maybe not. account. I'm thinking maybe thinking of someone else. You remember, he's got the rib jacket too, which gives him the bonuses. Yeah, but this is fine. You can't. You gotta accept it first before you can switch out. Light armor. Oh no, you know, we're good because then she can equip the heavy combat. Excuse me. I think she can take the heavy armor. I'll say she can do power, she can do heavy armor. And then we go for Kanye Shield. And then we'll have melee shield. Did you say Kanye Shield? It's Chani. Yeah, Kanye Shield. The Kanye Shield. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Alex. It's just yay now. It's the Yeezy Shield. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, he's gay. He's gay? <laughs> no, he's, he's gay. He's oh, he's, gay. Oh, he's I thought he's a gay fish. fish. <laughs> exactly. To which I was going to say, duh. Get it, man. <laughs> get it, man. Just get it. He's a gay fish. He's a gay fish, man. 
Oh man, I do love the, like in interviews and stuff. He just keeps bringing it up. He keeps bringing it up, and, and he, does, he, doesn't he doesn't fucking get it. Wait, in real life, he doesn't yes. get it. Yes. Oh, oh, that's he hilarious. Oh yeah. He was oh, like, you know, hilarious. I'm a legend. He's like, I'm a legend. I'm like the forefront. You know, I've always been the head of my time, and that's why people say I'm a gay fish. And it's like that's not it. Kanye. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Kanye, it's not it. <laughs> oh um, yeah. He's her melee is really good, so I think yes. we keep her on arm. That's fine too. I mean, she's really strong in her physically. I had no oh, she's idea. dexterity based? That's fucking. Ugh. She's also strength. She's got high strength too. I mean, yeah, we'll keep bumping dex, but I think I need to adjust some of her equipment. Bump it. Bump it. Master conditioning. Oh, yeah. We're here to pump you up. up. If I'm two weapon fighting, does that count for unarmed? No. She does have her special staff though. Weapon. The hand aim staff. Well, that seems very strong. Sure. Especially since it gives extra defense as well. Yes, we'll do that. But then I think I had something. That so that's why the t she's. Really good with the two weapon fighting. Yeah, no, I don't want this, uh, these two more war bugs. I don't want that minus two death. No, not for her. If I'm going to be attacking with dexterity. Alex, did you ever put the uh, Tony Lasagna's from last night up? I didn't. I was not able to find a marker. You still can't find the marker? Correct. Fuck it. Are you serious? There, no, there is a marker. Uh, whoa, whoa, Matt. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> I'll deal with myself. This disrespect for Tony Lasagna's will not stay. Two more. Yeah, double lasagna. I get all these sneak attacks, but I'm never gonna ever stealth. Ever. You've been here before. In fact, you went around this room last time and saw there was nothing. And this guy's also still the same. Well, I've been waiting for my flight to Terrace for five years. Oh, right, that guy. I'm pretty sure we all had the same reaction when we heard that the first time. <laughs> Why the fuck are you still waiting? Just get another one! <laughs> Alex, why'd you just pop off your clothes? You popped off your clothes? You know why I popped my clothes off. Because you're selling yourself on the corn. You I wanted to cast Force Valor. It's, I know. it's armor restricted, so I can't cast that. Why, why didn't you at least put the robe on? Oh, you do. You're okay. 
Any reason to get that? Because there's a because there's a bunch of HK bots waiting for me in the fucking hallway. This only happens in the bot. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have destroy? You didn't take destroy. If you had destroy, it would go between all three of them. Yeah, well. I like how you're deflecting the shots, by the way. Oh, yeah, that's why I took the deflection. I was like, to say, where the hell is. Oh, okay, it disables still getting all three. Actually, I don't remember. I brought you because I thought you'd be good. Fuck with me. And if you remember, I put, Ge I put Gecko on heal mode, so you can keep her ass up. <laughs> <laughs> and her ass keeps him up. Right. <laughs> hey, 8K chassis in your advance like this. I mean, Wait, bro, whoa! <laughs> It's not. Keeps me up and I keep your ass up. It's not. It's not tit for tat. It's tit for dick. Let's <laughs> name my dick. Uh, tat. <laughs> <laughs> that's the main reason I want you to come to Tila's, but you can also turn in those quests to. Uh, yeah. Say well, that's face. all, and we will keep moving. I was like, Alex is totally just talking to this guy to, to pop off a Dilfa. You needed to know that Dilfa was still there. Sometimes you gotta get, sometimes you gotta pop off a Dilfa. Um, That's what she said. I don't remember. What does that even mean? I don't remember pop off a Dilfa? Just go, and say, I'll be going now. Go in here. Go through that door. They're gone, right? Yeah. yeah. No, they're still there. They will leave eventually. Go through that door. Turn left. Good take of that next level heal. Go up here. And start to grind. No, no. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I don't want to. Oh, wait a second. Mm, I do want to randomly type stuff into this computer. What is it? I see. And where and when did you kill them? I see. Well, you certainly earned the bounty on those two dangerous no criminals. Here it is. I think you'll find the amount more than <laughs> adequate. The TSF once again Perfect. thanks you for your cooperation. All right, that's it. You can leave Tila's now. That's all. That's all that's left on Tila's. Yeah. Really? Unless you want to. There's one other thing you can do, but it's so dumb. But it's, and, and it ends up fucking you by doing the quest, so I, I, I suggest not doing it. What Which do you is mean the end up fucking you? Um, a uh, smuggling one. Ooh, what do they want you to smuggle? No. No? It's to find the smuggler. If you, oh. end, you, you end up getting fucked where you can get shut out of items later in the game. So, I suggest not doing that one. You don't get much experience for it anyway. Because then knowing Alex, he'd be like, I think I could do it. But you can do it without locking yourself out of the items? No. no. See, and that's what I mean. Like, Alex is, and Alex is sitting here going, yeah, but if you, if you, if there's a possibility we can't get locked out of the items. Yeah, I know. I would have said it then. Yeah, but no, I, I fucked myself over by doing that quest. You Dakufta. I can hear him doing it. I know. Me. That's what made me think <laughs> of it. I'm walking away and he's just like, no. <laughs> well, check it again. It can't be anything else. You just call him BB. Just beep check beep. the damn connector. Oh. I don't trust Big the difference. diagnostics any more than I Barely. trust you. Because I don't like droids. They break. In the head. Yeah, Well, whatever so you different. call that thing on your head. 
Yeah, well, if I'm mean to you, it's because I care. Wow, that sounds like an abusive relationship. I ever saw one. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fucking put some clothes on. Don't you ever give it a rest? Don't you ever put some clothes on? You know, Fine, I understand that you're going to yell at me for this. I just this. need to get some stuff from the cargo hold. Because I understand that back then that was not a thing that people did. Like, what? they couldn't do it. But I really don't like it when they have boobs that big and they just fucking stay still. <laughs> They're like, you know, like a rock. It's you not real! Styles, but you're holding back because I am unarmed. Tell me where you were trained. What can I say? I'm a quick study. You lie. You know the Achani styles by reflex. Oh yeah? Guess you saw a lot of the world while you were freezing your cargo hold off in the Ice Academy. Didn't you, sister? Next time I walk in here, I'm carrying a blaster. Jesus. Oh yeah, one other thing. Did he just Don't say think I had noticed the way you've been sparring with our ex-Jedi friend. This <laughs> isn't some <laughs> pleasure yacht. <laughs> <laughs> you said you're freezing your cargo you hold off in the Ice Academy. I think he was talking about the for butt, not yeah. the box. So keep your hands where I can see them. <laughs> that is funny. Oh, <laughs> um, again, Jackie, if if you start doing boob physics, you end up with like dead or alive I, I beach understand. volleyball. I understand. I understand. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, because you don't have to go all the way crazy with it. I mean, age slider. I'll tell you right now. Give <laughs> it. You were eight, eight, the older you are, the more the boobs jiggled. So if you slid yourself up to age ninety nine, you would like punch and the boobs would go. <laughs> that's fucking like a stupid. Speed too. Bag. All right, that's also fucking stupid. Yeah, look, Drew. Also, in the same breath, this is before Dead or Alive or Train Beach Volleyball revolutionized jiggle physics. But there was no reason. Okay, but that's just taking it too far. Why couldn't it just be like a regular boob physics? Because because men made these games, Jackie. Oh yeah. All the boobs in these games have to be built for and tough. <laughs> <laughs> Let go. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let go! <laughs> the seriousness of it. They're like a rock. <laughs> okay, you're good. <laughs> I didn't level up, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. I guess Adam's not gonna be cool with me being like. He's just not gonna say anything. He's gonna ask you about Pazak. I think you need one more part after this, if my math is correct. Maybe two. You need to check the quest. How much do you need? Oh. I think you grabbed all of them already. It's just there to prevent you from getting, like, screwed. And too many. An infinite amount of fucking programming spots. Like I said, you're not going to be able to do anything with Adam's quest line until you get a Holy certain shit, event. Holy shit, our home chef stuff just got delivered. Just now? Just I, now. It's 9.30. Uh, I'm going to fly to Cora, man. Oh, you don't have to get it, Matt. It's it's cold outside. It'll be fine. It's, it's like right outside the door, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm used to Alex. He doesn't ever want to do it. We look back two minutes later and oh, hoops. It's right in front of the yeah, door. Yeah, they put it right that. in front of the door so you can't ever get out. that. We look over and Hoops is frozen like a popsicle in the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fucking snow piercer. <laughs> <laughs> I've got icicles coming out the nose. Yeah. Korriban, that's the um, Sith planet, oh, right? What? It's the Sith planet, right? Yep. It's a little different. You can tell we haven't lived in the city in a while. Why? Because in the city, if you open the door, there might be somebody with a gun waiting to rob your house. Jesus Christ! <laughs> or because, or because you, you live in a wind tunnel. Why would one of the Jedi uh, yeah, I was like the wind tunnel work. one. Fuck. Oh. Oh yeah. They might have packs to go and look at you. Oh, don't get, years. don't get wrong. Oh, yeah. If we were still living in Philly, that that that, that, that was that was the modus operandi on the surface. living in Philly. I can't tell you, like Bill actually bought me a birthday present one year when we were in our. So don't worry, apartment. you won't be quite as awesome as she And it was a hat. You might want to keep your, uh... 
like it just disappeared because somebody sharp. took our package. Or do whatever you and that was like a, a community, oh, no, no, that was a, a building where you had like, mechanical you know, you had a, a, swipe a swipe to get into the building, you had a key to get in past the swipeys. Did we ever tell you that our bed got stolen? That was our first department. No, sorry, that was our second department. So between our first stole our bed. Now hang on, so here's what happened. We were moving in from our first department to our second department, which was literally, literally hoops right next door. Yeah, we were just just taking out. stuff out to put it in a U-Haul. The U-Haul sat on that street overnight, and then the next day we went into the apartment. And we were unloading it so that Alex could return the U-Haul. And I think I, I, like, I looked away for maybe, I don't know, 10 seconds. I poked my head in the, in the hallway to tell Alex something really quick. I looked back. Our mattress, our box spring, our futon, they were all leaning, three parts. They were, all of that was leaning up against the side of the building. Literally as, right next to me. As me and I think one other person. Mike. It was Mike Toad. Yeah, me and Mike Toad were holding stuff in. And, and I had Jack, his mother. left Jackie outside. With, my, with to, your like, mother. To, with her mom to hang out and with watch With your stuff. mom. Yeah. Yeah. And somebody literally in the 10 seconds I poked my head in the hallway, pieced out and with And me and Mike were like, we left you guys out here watching. It was watching. $2,000 <laughs> worth of stuff. And we actually, like, they had plain clothes cops because they were like, it's a moving day. Like, you know, it was, it was like September first or something like that and they're like it's a moving day so you know we've got a lot of plainclothes cops around because this happens all the time and i was like well it would have been nice if he had fucking put yeah, out a thing were, that said hey beware there's going to be yeah. people with fucking trucks he riding like, around people drive around with moving trucks making it look like they're here for moving day they scope out things on the street and they just hop out of the back of the truck grab everything throw it in the back of the truck and drive off uh-huh Happens all the time. So, so then we got to sleep on back. our futon for the next couple of weeks. While we oh, no, we didn't have a futon. We slept on the fucking floor for a week until we got a bed. Remember, yeah, the got... futon was stolen, too. That's why we got your dad's futon. Yes. Our dad's, that's what happened with the dad's, my dad's futon. <laughs> Fucking Philly. Yeah. <laughs> it was rough. It was like right away. The my city of brotherly love. It was the last thing we needed to bring into the house too. My favorite was the fucking the landlord was such a it was such a chill dude. Was he was pretty cool. Your mom lost her shit on just him. Where she was like, "Oh yeah, this is a great place to live. People just stealing your bed." And the landlord kind of looked at me. It is Philly. <laughs> <laughs> like like he, he took it very well. Caliban, much as we have Baron and Lycius. It was assumed that the remnants of the Sith turned on each other, vying for what little power remained. The Republic found evidence that several Sith Lords escaped Korriban, fleeing to remote sections of the galaxy. As lifeless as it seems, the dark side is very strong here. The Sith Lords would not ignore such a powerful place. There is much that can be learned. No, that was after the spider. We house. should go to the ruins of the old academy. Oh, that was the if first there are any part traces of the spider here. House. Oh, that is where they would be. Oh my god. That's why we spent so much time with Drew. We formed a, a, a good friendship thanks to all the wolf spiders that were in our house <laughs> that would jump from wall to wall. I was in my fucking. <laughs> you, you, you know how big nightmare. they were? Easily. This like, big. This big. Easily. The worst was the day we moved in. So no, sorry, Burn the house down. Two days, yeah. Two days after we moved in, uh, I'm sitting there alone because Alex is going to find a parking spot with Mike Toad. And to subdue um, any potential I look over on the wall, and I'm just like minding my own business watching some TV, and I look over, took a wolf spider, the right there. And I literally, like, I, my heart stopped beating for about two seconds, and I like I got up, and I was like, oh my god, and I didn't even know what to do, because I was like, it, I can't go near it, because it'll jump. Like, if it even sees something approaching it, it jumps. Yeah. So I was like, fuck. So for some reason, in my fucking prey brain, I was like, I need to leave the house. I need to get out. So I went out the front. I went out our door, and for some reason, I locked the door as if that would have stopped the spider. Yeah. Like, yeah, that it's trapped now. <laughs> it doesn't. No, nothing can happen now. And we never found it until two days later when Alex suddenly, all of a sudden, I hear, ah! and I was like, what the fuck was that? He's like, don't come over here. Yeah, those things did not die clean. <laughs> he legitimately, like, he, like, I was like, what's the matter? Because I thought he hurt himself. And he's like, seriously? Don't come over here. And I was like, oh my god. There was bug guts on the wall until the day we moved out. Oh my god. Yeah, you can't take Cray on the Corbin. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That fucking hell. Remember when Sketch drunkenly broke our window? Oh god, yeah, I do. <laughs> he came by because I guess he got it in his mind that somehow I was going to hook him up with Jolita. Is and that what it was? Yeah. Like, there was apparently some joke. We were drinking absinthe with him. And there was that conversation about him, Jolita, and Lauren having, like, a threesome together. 
but it was like a it was like a clear joke, right? And then he shows up at our house at like three in the morning, banging on the door. We like, weren't home. Like Alex, Alex, are you there? But we like, weren't there. Is the key? Yeah. And he ended up breaking the glass in our door. But we didn't like, know it was to him. Trying because he was like, I thought we were gonna, I thought you were gonna give me a threesome with Jolene. <laughs> we uh, we didn't, we didn't know it was him. My God. Um, and our he door was broken. Door was busted, and our glass was broken. And this is like, after somebody fuck. tried to break into the basement of the house. That we lived in because so the house is a Victorian house that used to be a one a one family and the woman bisected it down the middle and she lived in the the, the right side well the, if you're facing it the left side and we lived in what was basically person. what was basically the servants' quarters. <laughs> what what's happening? Not this. They're off. But Addie sometimes plays music if she has it on like a station or something. Um, but yeah, it's so not Addie's, it's Miles's. So the um, he also does the station because he ta- she taught him how to do iHeartRadio. Um, oh, iHeartRadio. She uh, so th- yes. Th- th- anyway, they're listening to iHeartRadio on there. It's Disney stuff. It's all Disney channels. Um. But yeah, so she. So I don't this, even know how to make iHeartRadio. <laughs> so this, this Victorian. <laughs> oh my God. So this Victorian house, like she buys, like there were three apartments on the other side, and then we had what was basically the servants' quarters back when it was an actual Victorian house. So we had the smallest fucking apartment I still have ever seen to date. We had it was a living room. Our kitchen was a strip. Like you see, you see our our breakfast bar there. Yeah. Imagine that it had an apartment size stove that was like a quarter the size of a regular stove and then cut about two feet off of the end there and that's how big our kitchen was. Um, They didn't put tile in there. It was all carpet. They didn't put tile in until literally we were moving out. That sounds like it. And then uh, they got all new carpet put in as we were moving out too. The bedroom was really small it had a and then the bathroom was in the bedroom so you had to walk through the bedroom to get to the bathroom which was really uncomfortable when everybody had to stay with us my favorite part was the bathroom itself the shower was a two by two rectangle yep and then there was another two by two rectangle where the toilet was yeah and that's that and i remember being high on acid in that bathroom I know, Alex saw the Alex saw a lion on the wall. <laughs> the wood grain yeah. was like warping and spinning. And I was, he was in there for a really saw a lion long face. time. And I was sitting there. It wasn't all that long because you were also. We, of course I was, but that's not the point. So it wasn't as long as you think, but I was sitting there and I was look, staring at it. I was like, wow, this is really cool. And I was like, it was like one of those, you know, cross your eyes, you know, 3D images. The acid helped them. Like uh, George Costanza. Yeah, yeah, or like in Mall Rats with the schooner. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I started, like, touching it to try to get it to, like, break apart. And then I hear Jackie freaking the fuck out. Like, Alex! Alex, what's that? Somebody's, like, clawing at the door or, like, pawing at something. What's something? You gotta help me. And I was like, and now I'm just, there's a lion on the door. <laughs> and we just accepted that. <laughs> it was a very weird night. <laughs> yeah, um, so, uh, you can get a Kraya conversation at each of these four tombs. I suggest doing that. Yeah. I'm gonna... You're not gonna be able to go into them, but you can get a Kraya conversation. Okay lies the tomb of Naga Sadar, successor to Makaragnos, and the Sith Lord responsible for nearly conquering the Republic in the Great Hyperspace War a millennia ago. Sorry. Tell me more. more recently, tell me more! Tell me more! Did she put up a fight? Him, the leader <laughs> <of> the <laughs> <Sith> fucking increase. <laughs> when Revan left Korriban, the Sith Academy was thrown into turmoil. In with their leader gone, Many fought for the right to Bird grade? And so, the city you put Grease on as your school play? There was weird, we did just Summer Lovin'. Right? The, co- the, the choir, uh, like the school choir got together. I was the only boy in the school choir. So they wanted me to be, you know, oh God. the lead. And I was like, no. And they're like, but you're like the only guy, and of course and like you could do the part and I was like uh uh-uh, uh I'm not getting up and singing the lead for this so Marissa Urbano ended up playing John Travolta's part and I was the guy who said can't you get me a friend <laughs> <laughs> and they had her dressed up you know with like the hair slicked back and everything. Jesus Christ 
known as the greatest lightsaber duelist. And the teacher was very upset at me for not wanting to be the lead. I was like, mm -hmm, you're lucky enough I'm here. <laughs> You Nothing. should be Don't happy do that I've graced you with my presence. He was considered remarkable, even in his time, when many true lightsaber masters lived. That is unknown, but supposedly he created a holocron to teach his technique to other Sith. That's not familiar. Holocron would have been laid to rest. Holocron? Why would they have laid the holocron to rest in his tomb? Does that sound familiar at all? Yeah, the one that we... It's the one you got in the first game. ...penetrated by the grave robbers of the new Sith Order. If the holocron has survived, I doubt anyone living would know its location. But... Lucky for you... Can't go into a jack, Alex. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still gonna run up to everyone. No, I want you to. I just mean, don't, like, go in. Don't, don't... Don't touch the corpse. Can't touch that skeleton? No. Because it'll trigger an event. She'll get fucking attacked. This and Kraya will bitch at you. <laughs> she bitches at you anyway. This, this is one of the few from right here who has a very important conversation with her. Master, wow. Leading to his demise. A junta's dark specter lived on through the centuries until Revan entered the Sith Lord's tomb in search of the blade. Revan calmed the angry ghost of Ajanta Paul and showed him the path back to the light. Unknown. Some have suggested that the blade led to Revan's demise, as it did Ajanta Paul. That is only speculation, however. Where Revan wanders now is knowledge that only Revan holds. Huh? Should have been, it might have been removed from the mod. There used to be a conversation there. Go to the go to the last tomb. Yeah. There's definitely one of them to get light side points and Kraya influence at the same time, which is a, a very rare thing in this game. <laughs> Before you is the tomb of the great Sith. Lord, I thought it was the Egypt of Tombs. A half breed who possessed tremendous strength, both physically half and in force. Actual Sith and half human. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ragnos held power for over a century, using his cunning to turn his enemies against each other. His death left a great vacuum power. We're standing Hoover. close to the spot Hoover. where Naga Sadal first confronted Ludo Kresh to buy for domination of the Sith. Their struggle nearly resulted in a civil war that would have torn the Sith apart before they ever threatened the Republic. Yes, it is the way of the Sith. They must continually test their strength against each other, even if it means destroying themselves. As fate would have it, a pair of hyperspace explorers from Sinagar landed on Korriban. Naga Sadar manipulated the Sith into believing they were a sign of impending Republic invasion. This fear resonated with many Sith who were discontent with the lack of expansion of the Sith Empire during the reign of Marco Ragnos. Thus, Naga Sadar became Ragnos' successor. Alright, that's it. I already warned you about them. I know you, I knew you were gonna do it. You know, like, I'm gonna fucking save before you do it. But you don't wanna listen. I just wanna see what happens. The broken corpses before you are all that we Famous last Sith words! That's fine. I doubt there is much to be gained from looting these bodies. It would be best to leave them be. Wow, even she doesn't want you to do that. And she's not a nice person. 140 credits is not... Yeah, it's fine. You've disturbed the spirit I of the spirits, and they have sent their guardians. Don't care about achievements. I hate achievements. <laughs> Hisses are enough to humble even an arrogant one such as you. Test yourself if you must, but try not to die. <laughs> Take pictures of me if you must, but leave her out of it. Remember that from the, 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 the book from the elephant in the hat? Because it happened in the cutscene. Yes, I do remember that. <laughs> Where's my gun? Cutscene, run away. 
I don't even remember what gun I had equipped. Well, that's a good option. Exchange negotiator. <laughs> Exchange and seminate. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> There's no reason. No reason for that. Sorry, Jack. You know why I said it? That's a funny <laughs> joke. Which, by the way, Miles is Miles's new line. line. Oh, I know. Funny joke. And I don't know why. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I kind of like his. Ha 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 ha. Oh, yeah, the... <laughs> oh it's like Spyro. Yeah, basically it. And I haven't played that around him in a while, so I don't know where he got that one from. Yeah, you want to load it. You don't want to lose the influence, Alex. No, the problem is the influence, which is extremely hard to gain with credit. I suggest loading so you don't lose that influence. You don't gain much experience from those. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Are you just gonna do another one? You know him so well, it's like you've been playing games with him for a while. You're not gonna get anything good, it's just. I mean, those are pretty good. Plus six demolition, plus one dexterity, plus two. Points. You'll get better stuff. Gekko won. Don't forget to equip him. I don't know. I don't use range weapons in this game. I mean, you haven't been either, so. He has. In this game, yeah. Not in the first one. In this one, yeah. I, I don't know the range combat weapon. Well, range combat in this game is not great, which is why I, I tend to ignore it. 211. Except for a few. Uh, key situations like I'm trying to I don't know break the AI logic in the game where I can go hide in the corner somewhere and the AI won't chase me and I can shoot them from far stuff like that for instance yeah I mean just having mining laser seems better yeah two handed uh... yeah it's definitely not the same as like um, dual wielding the pistols I think you're okay and it's definitely not the same as, like, say, having a fucking, uh, like, two swords, or a two-handed sword. Right. Like, uh, the, the second hand isn't shooting, it's giving you, like, stability. So I wouldn't expect there to be a, a penalty for it. Well, there's also, I want, because I have two ranks in the one-handed gun, and then two ranks in the rifle. So, if I had, like, the extra rank in the one-handed, that's what I would be doing. Do you see why I sent you to Telos and Corban first? So that we can get HP back. <laughs> observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us both of these were added in the So then how do you get that bot? Much harder. I, I know which ones are original. Uh. 
It's much harder to get HK-47 on the base game. Which sucks, because it's fucking HK-47. Oh, it's great. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to use the droid just because it's so much equipment. It's not that much. I definitely. I mean, first off, you want HK-47 period, but you should go go prepare HK-47 before you go with the Corvette. Why? Well, so I can use him instead of that. Sure. Or. Maybe. No, I just want you to get the HK-47 intro. <laughs> you don't have to use him, but, but. I intend to use him. Use him whenever you want. As long as he's got skills. If he's got computer use. If he's got some of it. And it seems very good. More character interaction on the ship. Kind of. So alone. We got half naked to go. And yes, I did know this was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't want to tell you this was going to be a fight here. <laughs> so that wasn't words. happening. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, like, like, I know you get the visas fight here, so this is fucking happening. <laughs> you get the visas fight the first time you return to the ship on a planet that's not too much. And you're 50% light or dark. You're in your ass hand, do you? Oh, that's that mind fuckery? Yep. Alright, well, I can heal up that. Oh. Give me an autosave. You're lucky. Or maybe not. Unless you want to go back to before the HK fight. But I wasn't going to tell you to save before going back on the ship. No, I'll play it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an easy fight. This is one of the hardest fights in the game because <laughs> you're not that high leveled. I wish I could skip this, though. Save it right after. Oh, right after the fight initiates? Yeah. That's true. Yeah, one or two. I'll do. Got a theme. What shield type works best against? It's energy, oh, right? Would it be an energy shield? Yeah. And not a melee shield? I think so. I don't know. I'm usually beefy enough that the shields don't matter too much, honestly. I'm just really good at 
Sorry. No, Sorry. that's no. not what I mean. No, I know. I'm just having. You really get to funny. the point where you're like, yeah, the shields are just an extra thing to deal with. The alacrity is an extra thing to deal with. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's not forget the tried and true KOTOR technique, Alex. When you don't feel like fighting anymore, you just run away to the other side of the ship where they can't follow you because the game's AI is broken. <laughs> I know! You're better. You're my battle team. You just took a 49 out of you, and now you're gonna get stunned. Which is really the killer! Ooh, that's big. Sounds not an easy fight. <laughs> fucking the fucking gecko texture. It's cool. She's standing perfectly still now, so I broke it. She's not attacking me. Is completely broken. Even without Alex's help? <laughs> oh. oh god, you should see the speed runs in this game. It's fucking insane. <laughs> what was the horror first? Yeah, I already like, took out half her health first. Oh, with what? With hitting her. I used the, I used the adrenal strength first. <laughs> It's not an easy fight. You have to yeah, either yeah. fucking beef up or go to ridiculous tactics. I yield. Yeah, you're not getting the lightsaber from her, Alex. It is as I heard through the force. That's basically what that line is. Yes. For you. Uh, one. Let's. I'm just. It's your fucking one, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> you played yourself to me. They're not great lines anyway. There's no like dark side. You must. The alternative is only another death. And I would rather die by your hands. Why? Well, uh, two. Yeah. I have nothing to offer you. Your strength is superior. It is as I felt. This remarkably placating, a. Uh... <laughs> Got her. <laughs> <laughs> now I've seen everything. <laughs> this woman, she's a Miraluka. I didn't think any were left in this part of the galaxy. I heard they had a colony on the Midrim, almost halfway between Onderon and Dantooine. Then, it wasn't there anymore. The whole planet was wiped out. Nothing left alive. No one knows why. Well, I mean, considering how well, easily she some of her wounds knows, are pretty bad. It. Looks like she was already carrying her share of <laughs> I think she'll recover, yeah. One. Remember, you're trying to get an influence, too. She is a threat to us. So are you, but one. We'll fucking put up with you. I am not asking that she be harmed we'll or interrogated. Yeah. But she is a little up to West Wing sick, sequence. And she has attacked us once. Walk she should not be allowed to walk freely on the ship. But there's a part for the lightsaber. You do not get the full lightsaber, get that'd be part. cheap. Get a part. Fourteen, yeah. No, twelve. I mean. Yeah, yeah. You know, Fourteen's the next fight. I was just wondering if she might have anything to say about Visa. Shh. No. Cray might. You probably want to talk to Visa first. You have to. Her species does not see as we do. They perceive the galaxy through the Force, and it is how she found They're you. They're blind. It is a rare gift. So is she! Yeah, but for the different Sith reasons. carry the battle to you, and you spare them. And as we travel, the empty places of this ship are filled. 
I hope your thoughts in this matter are clear. In saving her, you may destroy yourself and do not mate with her. Whatever you may feel, whatever. <laughs> I've, I've always loved the absolute <laughs> turn on this. Don't mate Jackie's with her. Face. Uh, <laughs> That Sucky got to go number two. Just because every... I saved her doesn't mean I was going to charge up her loading ramp. <laughs> it's such a good line. I was like, there's no way Alex isn't going to get to this and say that line. It was... Wow! <laughs> like, it's happening. Though blind, she has ties to darkness. Her presence here is a threat to us. To you. Do not underestimate her. Or <laughs> charge up her loading ramp. Oh, you love that line a little too much, Alex. <laughs> yeah, you did. No matter what you do, don't fuck her. Uh, what's number one? Ties are a mess, perhaps. Maybe That's probably the, the best line for the Freya influence. influence. She can see the doors, maybe she knows my allies, but I'm lost Jedi. This can help her, she doesn't seem evil. Then you are learning. Yeah, instead of playing with those Jedi. Is it that fucking surprising? What? Oh, you're learning. You know why well, because it was its time. Perhaps you should ask her. It begs many <laughs> You're fucking brutal, <laughs> Oh, I know. I love her. Or hatred, yet their planet is because it's going to get destroyed eventually. Might as well be now. <laughs> and all that remains is a synth. This is a very different game from the first game. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh, shit. You are right to trust your instincts. Something Completely different is writers. It is only and Chris Avalon was like, uh, yeah, we're going a different direction here. If your instincts here. lead you to yeah. answer, seek no the kidding. Out. Really that. Ask. Can you do three now? Does it matter? Perhaps click, I... click. Or what? Is no, that not yet? Okay, let's leave then. Ask. I want to say she did something my eyes. She did nothing to your eyes that was not already there. She has forced this upon you, but such crude methods. Are the markings of the Sith? Close your eyes. Feel this ship around. Do you think my eyes are closed? Can you These tell? These are dead air you're breathing. Yeah. <laughs> the welding of the droid as it goes about its work. <laughs> He's like me. Yeah, I know. It's like yeah. meditate. And it's like, oh man. Oh no, I can hear there's something wrong with the fridge. Oh fuck, I gotta take a shit. <laughs> That's my constant thought. <laughs> That's just his natural state of being. Rest feet walk from the ashes of the dark. I shall not fear. For in Is fear, mind killer, you say? lies death. <laughs> no, Al, I want the whole litany. Give me the whole litany. <laughs> You are strong indeed. What you heard were surface thoughts only, but it is something <gasps> that masters have trained for for years and never learned. Sorry. I'm it's okay. I'm it's being Alex and I'm splaying out. That is not this a is real nothing. question you should Oh, I know Alex usually goes is the whole way. Yeah, yeah, he goes the whole way. perceive yeah. the world yeah. around you? It is so He gross. will take up nine Because yards. to listen <laughs> to the thoughts of another is much he like attempting to, to see the universe only with your eyes. It yes. I wish I had. <laughs> A 27 foot penis. <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop when I get there. What? No, no? Okay, this is just impossible. I'll start again. <laughs> Yay, plus one awareness. Max we just started point. watching uh, The New Girl, and I'm not going to lie. Funny. It's actually yeah, no, really saying. funny. Or as, or as Alex said to me, do you like uh, Zoe Deschanel's whole sti shtick? And I said, no. And you're like, probably not going to like the show. I was gonna say she's not, but she's not the funniest part of it. No, she's definitely not. Like she's okay, but I think the only parts that I find really Save funny it. with her are the parts I'm that sorry. I, the parts that I'm just like, okay, well, as much as they're making it seem like she's weird, that's absolutely something we would do. It's like watching Psych, and whenever they did something really dumb, we were just like, like there was one episode where they're like, oh look, there's a honey festival, let's go to the honey festival. They're like. 
It's like that's the the big joke. I looked at Alex and was like, "Why is that funny? I would love to go to a honey festival." I gotta say, we got some like blueberry honey. Oh, it was amazing. Forty-seven activated. Running checks through primary systems. Assessment. It appears I have suffered considerable damage and dismemberment. I can feel all the cracks in my motivators. And my central control cluster seems to have taken several repeated blaster shots at close range. How crude. <laughs> How rude. Get, get, leave number three for now. Leave it? For now. Okay. Don't, don't, don't worry. If I okay, you mean the loss of almost all my existing assassination protocols, then no. I am not okay. <laughs> Furthermore, I seem to have no discretionary control over my vocabulator, causing me to reveal my true function mm -hmm. as an assassin droid of unrivaled sophistication. Somebody's not Hesitation. happy. Yes, as I said, I am an assassin droid. It is my primary function to burn holes through meat bags that you wish removed from the galaxy. Master, oh how I Oh, one, come on. <laughs> Answer. No, master. Uh, I said it again. <laughs> Answer. Yes, master. Yo, what, honey festival? Yeah, <laughs> I know, yeah, right? <laughs> right? Don't sound too excited about it. All right, what? talk to him again. He's he's gonna be uh, behind you right now. Oh Jesus! How'd you get there? <laughs> <laughs> Master, I what are you doing here? What are you doing there? As I have studied your actions, looking for potential vulnerabilities to exploit, I have found <laughs> several. That's awesome. Statement. You seem disposed to helping others, not harming them, as I have come to expect and anticipate from organic meat bags across the galaxy. Statement. Oh, Master, please, of course they are. Any time you inconvenience or jeopardize yourself for another, it is a vulnerability. In any event, I feel compelled <laughs> yeah, I to hope that your self-destructive <laughs> path of pacifism and sacrifice will only <laughs> lead to your doom. That may be a trifle melodramatic, but frankly, it is something that all Jedi should hear. And I have been rehearsing the speech for some time. <laughs> Statement. Master, it is nothing personal, but professional pride dictates mm -hmm. that I keep a running tally on any potential weaknesses in my masters. And of course, the weaknesses of any other sentient meatbags, droids, or other targets who are in service to my we master. We are on a spaceship. We are Gecko Magic. <laughs> Hypothetical. Master, it is entirely possible that one day you may no longer be my master. And that my new master might get jealous of our prior relationship. That's up It with. has happened before. How are you shaking your head up? Result, yeah, of course it is. I have a responsibility to know your weaknesses should I be required to assassinate you. <laughs> Statement. Oh, I'm aware of that, master. I simply use it to give you the illusion of control and obedience. <laughs> Humans often need such comforts until the end comes. <laughs> Oh my god, he's perfect. Statement, of course I do, master, <laughs> until the end. <laughs> Consolation, master, Consolation. everyone dies eventually, and not all of them by my hand. Even droids die when not routinely maintained, sadly enough. <laughs> Number two. Statement, ah, you wish to conduct an interrogation? Very well. Proceed. Statement. Very well, Master. But if you wish to be brutal and vicious about it, know that I am trained for such things. Do your Seems worst. He wants me to do it. Yeah, he does. I think he enjoys it. Yeah. Statement. 
Master, I am no behavior droid. But it is obvious to me that you have serious ethical problems that will need to be treated at some point. Very well. Ask your questions. If you feel the need to make it an interrogation, however, do not restrain yourself. Okay. I would be saddened if you held back. Now you can shoot over number two. Answer. Oh, that is impossible, Master. If I were out to kill you, we would not be speaking. And regardless, I am a unique model. Why, to think that there would be other versions of me would be unacceptable. Statement. Master, I must inform you that your attempts at humor are wasted on a droid such as I. As I have expressed, I am unique. That's the thing. Resignation. Very well, Master. If you persist in your attempts at humor, I shall indulge you. Let me check this the ship records, me? <laughs> and we will settle this matter once and for all. Conclusion. You speak the truth. <laughs> yeah. This discovery is also causing me some degree of anger and humiliation. Mockery. Am I all right? Oh, yes, Master. I right. absolutely love I that he just blatantly says the Oh, yeah. yeah. I've only just been reactivated, only to find that there are substandard duplicates of me running all over the galaxy, corroding my good name. <laughs> but if they are, in fact, hunting you, then I look forward to the opportunity to meet these units and educate them in proper assassination protocols. Conclusion. So it seems I need you for the time being. Statement. Ah, yes. Them. Very well. What did you wish to know? Answer. Master, I do not know. I have tried in vain to find it, but so far the location of the factory churning out these copies has eluded me. Statement. I have no idea, Master. Two. Statement. What of them? Answer. My feelings on the matter are something that I feel I must put in proper context, in a way that even a meatbag such as yourself could easily comprehend. Theory. Imagine, if you will, that you are unique, the pinnacle of an exiled, cast-out Jedi who can't even use the Force. Imagine that no one has sunk lower than you, that you are truly the most miserable example of a Jedi ever. <laughs> Continuation. Now that you have that image, imagine this. Someone clones you. Badly, I might add. They make the clones talk differently, rob you of any shred of personality, and take your Jedi code and adjust it so that it is not really the Jedi code anymore. They so even you change your pigmentation to a rather <laughs> poor shade of dark oh. rather than the Red that inspires uh, fear no. in targets. This is probably commentary on the course, prequels. Yeah. They refer to <laughs> as organics. There's a lot of backhanded commentary in this game, if you have not figured that out already. No. And there's a lot more to go. No way. Backhanded commentary? You want to that different for you? Okay, so I don't want to tell him that. No, 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 you do not. Know. Clarification. Anger would be an understatement for the heat that builds up in my behavior core when these cheap imitations make their presence felt throughout the galaxy. Statement. Part of the indignity of all these copies is that they impair my ability to perform my function. The more people throughout the galaxy recognize me as an illegal assassination device, the more difficulty I will have in carrying out my mission. Statement. Statement. Master, there are two reasons <laughs> for this. One, the oh, probability this conversation, of them showing way. up around I... you is statistically high. And we're in a, we're this in is a... very well written. You, oh, don't worry. Our chances of encountering these clones is also high. The second reason is a little more complicated. You see, even though those clones are obviously cheap, artless imitations of me, well, they are still me. Answer. Somehow the 
these droids are built from my schematics. This causes certain complications. Answer. Because of my self-preservation program, my behavior core recognizes these templates as still being me, despite their There's individuality. I could no more shoot Correct. them than I could shoot myself. It is a frustrating situation that has been looping through my behavior I mean, core for some time. time. Well, SK-50s will be the ones you're fighting. SK-47. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't come with me anymore, HP 47 I wanted to bring you in, but... There's no more in Corbin. Answer. Well, Master, it seems you have become a popular individual <laughs> in the galaxy. This is somewhat surprising to me, since <laughs> this dissemination of information could not have been caused by your actions alone. Statement. Master, there is mention of you specifically in the Corward databases, even in public terminals on Coruscant. Observation. I was led to believe that this information concerning Jedi was not for public consumption, yet somehow it has been made known to them. Conclusion. Someone wants everyone to know that you exist, Master, and that you are back in Republic space. If I did not know better, which is computationally impossible, <laughs> I believe that someone wants to make you a target, and they are succeeding admirably. Answer. Master, my feeling would be the exchange. But that doesn't seem to be enough to answer the question, however. Rhetorical. Why wouldn't they have simply kept the information to themselves? Such an answer does not address the central question. And that is, why someone would choose to broadcast your location all over the known galaxy? Theory. My suspicion is that someone is using you as bait for a larger target, who is unknown at this time. Stay... Uh, have you done... These two are still to be informed, right? Yeah. Answer. Master. As part of my original programming, I am able to communicate in over 600 languages. This usually amounted to short verbal warnings when killing non-basic speaking targets, which gave me some small measure of satisfaction. Answer. Yes. I believe my original master needed right. this functionality in order mm. to recover information from various indigenous tribes across the galaxy. But I know little else than that. Suffice to say that that translation capability allowed these copies of myself to assume the role of protocol and translation droids in much of known space. That is, of course, not their primary function. And while they are attempting to pass themselves off as translation droids, their primary functionality keeps rising to the forefront. Recitation. For example, on Praven Prime, the simple transferring of the Elzing syntax for friendship changes its meaning and implies that one's broodmate was actually impregnated by their own host. That wasn't said to them directly, was it? Mm -hmm. Confirmation. Well, truly, you can imagine the results. <laughs> Statement. This comment, of course, Good caused yourself, a basically. civil <laughs> war between the Guvandi Collective and Elzing that still persists to the current date. <laughs> Answer. <sighs> Master, being a... You see, part of the reason an assassin droid is so effective is because it is a droid. Beat bags tend not to notice us. We are treated <laughs> as furnishings. <laughs> Statement. Oh, do shut up, you beeping little trash. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, droids tend to blend into the background. Like a bench or a card table. Mockery. Droid, fetch this. Droid, translate that. Droid, <laughs> clean out the trash compactor. Definitely too. <laughs> yes, T3 influence. <laughs> comes when the furnishings pull out Tabana powered rifles and point them at the owner's heads. My identity as an assassin droid was unknown for quite some time. Even during the recent events, when all that trouble occurred amongst the Jedi. 
I'm sure you've already heard more than enough about it, so I will spare you the details. Statement. Uh, this story may be somewhat is it, Oh, that's right. This is great because it's HK47's corrupted so view of history. Of yes. Faction of meatbags called the Sith. They want what any rational meatbag would want: the power to assassinate anyone they choose at any time. <laughs> In a startling turn of events, the Sith declared war on the Republic. The Republic wasn't going to stand for it, so they went to war right back. <laughs> Answer. Oh, who knows, Master? It is evident <laughs> that the Sith would very much like to assassinate all the Jedi, which is somewhat the equivalent of cultural suicide since some Sith are Jedi or were Jedi. It is much like the circumstance I find myself in now. How do you kill such an integral part of yourself over such ethical differences? The answer, of course, is that you keep firing until all dissension has been eradicated. <laughs> yes, that's one way of looking at it. Recitation, yeah, right. for example. So, you're gonna need to know more. State. One we're missing. Just like the big one. Uh, why are they revealing it? Yeah. Answer. I do not know why these clones chose now to start revealing themselves. Theory. I can only assume that some critical moment is approaching where stealth and subtlety is no longer required. Not that those durasteel plated knockoffs know anything of stealth or subtlety. <laughs> Observation. It is clear, however, that they have been placed throughout the galaxy at critical junctures, both in the Republic fleet and in neutral worlds. And they seem to be looking for Jedi. Statement. Hold on. Scroll down. I need to try five. Just, we're missing something. Answer. No, Master. Yeah, this yeah. new Sith threat fights differently than the ones I was familiar with. These seem to favor stealth and assassination to achieve their ends. Answer. No, Master. The Sith had many hidden bases and strongholds before and during the Jedi Civil War, and I doubt the Republic found them all. Theory. It is possible that the Sith still hold one such base, if not several. Consolation. But I would not worry, Master. I imagine it will not be long before their murderous hands try to seize you by the throat. <laughs> Say that again. Query, Master, excuse me, yes. but how is it you know so many languages? It seems to know all the languages I do, and I am feeling degrees of familiarity and inferiority both at once. Do it. Observation. <laughs> this is indeed familiar. Indeed, it seems to be modeled after my vocabulator, with some modifications, of course. Curious. You say you obtained this device on Paragus. Observation. Master, I do believe this device serves multiple functions, including tracking your position for any HK units in the vicinity. Confirmation. Yes, Master, I believe so. Of course, we would need to find three separate HK squads and use this device in order to target their base. Answer. A little bit of history on this. But this quest line was dropped from the original game because I didn't get to finish it. Yeah, that's what I had a feeling. This is the biggest thing. We're, we're just going, going after the assassin home planet thing or whatever it is. The base. Yeah. Statement. That was the important bits from this conversation. Anything else probably needs required. Um, like, uh, you're good for now, honestly. Anything else is going to require. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah.
that influence, which you don't have. And it's very hard to get HK influence unless you're going pure dark side. And he doesn't really tell you that much. And if there's any questions at the end of the game, I can just say it. But HK's good to have because he's a fighter, you know, with guns, and he's really good with assassination. Uh, and he's really funny because, because he's HK-47, but that's the main stuff. That's, that's all expected stuff. Don't worry about it for the time. Cool. And there you have him. And you can still talk to Vesis as well. You don't want to save so you don't have to go through that entire conversation again. I can just blow through it, you know? Yeah, that's the thing you should say. Cuts. Yeah. Well, hold on, I wanted to talk to... T3? T3. Wherever he may be. He usually goes between the engine room and the cockpit. not going to be with Cryo, so. Let's check the engine room. Try to. You can get that conversation, I think. There you go. You have enough influence now. Probably three, I don't know. I guess I can't do that. Nice. T3, you have been with us since Terrace. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you, we would never have escaped that place. And for that, I thank you. I'm leaving this message inside you because I have seen Her glimpses teeth. of the future. I know, I was it's just, just the hot, it's just the effect. I, I didn't want to say something because I was like, I don't want to get picked on again. Mortis Mortis something memories have returned when they trouble him. He has remembered something. Something on the edge of the galaxy. And he believes that he must go there to end it. But I am afraid for him. Afraid that he may not return. I need you to be the beacon, T3. If he is lost out there, on the edge of the galaxy, if he finds whatever terrible thing he has seen, then he may not survive. If he doesn't make it back, then I need you to return to the Republic. Find help. If you cannot find me, then seek out other Jedi. The Republic can't lose him, even if he believes he is protecting me. Aww. <laughs> I hope you'll pay for what you've done. That's all you can get out of I think it's all you can get out of T3 right now, anyway. But no. Anyway, yes, so... Uh, T3 has locked the astrogation system to say where Revan went. <laughs> and... That's it. And Revan went off in search of the Sith. 
And that was that. Yes. And that's all you get. <laughs> For now. I don't know if your computer repair is high enough to do any of that, but you can give it a shot. No. Now you repair. Nope. It just gives him boosts. They're not, like, there's no influence or anything from that, I think, so. Alright. These just have a lot to say. Yeah. Well, then actually, let's call it here. <laughs> All right. We did a lot of talking in this one, but there's a lot of character stuff going on. Yeah. We'll handle these next time. I can eat my sausage sandwich or watch something sunny. Not Unless yet. Jackie wants to stay up and watch something. No, I'm gonna go to bed. I figured out that I could almost, work finished. On that. I almost finished. I almost finished inking it, but I here shows. Sure. Oh, it's it's not like super thrilled with it. Still like good. Uh, looks like uh, where Chewie lives with his family. Oh, shit. Oh, it looks exactly like where Chewie lives in the thing. It's uh, in the holiday special. Hoops. Oh, thanks, Hoops. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jackie. That reminds me of, so I, so I made a picture a while ago of a fucking robot head uh, with overgrown shit. And Alex was like, I was like, oh, yeah, and I really like this one. He's like, Oh yeah, the Flintstone house one. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I was like, oh. <laughs> you should show hoops the picture. Is it What's, a rock? Should, and I was like, please. no, it's not a fucking rock. <laughs> you should please get the picture. But it was one of those things where I was like, yeah, you know what? This is just, you know, I was starting to get confident. I should have absolutely, like, I needed that kick to the pants to make sure that I didn't get too fucking big on myself. <laughs> I like it, but... I'm right. Fine. It's a very good picture, Jackie. Good picture. But it looks like the mouth is the, the door. The flinks. Anyway. Don't worry. But not like the upgraded house that he got in the Flintstones movie after having No, definitely not that one. Yeah, no, don't, don't worry, Al. <laughs> I, <laughs> all of my... Atreides whatever and whatever ego I had... Oh, fuck, that's right. I forgot he's the... Oh, my God. Yeah. I forgot he's in that. He's You're that right. guy, yeah. Paul Atreides. <laughs> Anyway, good good night, Drew. Good night, <laughs> Hope you had a good time watching uh, adventure games. <laughs> this is nonsense that we do. Shame your anime night didn't work out, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, we, we do this every Monday, like eight ish. <laughs> yeah, if you uh, want to come hang out, the channel is uh, Clan Do Play. Slash Clan Do Play. <laughs> we do this every Monday. <laughs> I don't know, some other guy does it, like, Tuesdays and alternating Sundays. It's very difficult to explain that to people when they come in. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just like, oh, so you guys play this? I was like, well, once a week, but you're going to see the channel on a lot. <laughs> anyway. All right. Uh, I'm you cutting cut. it. You can cut it. <laughs> yeah, some jerk off. <laughs> I didn't cut the recording yet, so that when I upload this to YouTube, this little bit will be available. <laughs>